Let's talk about choice. Sounds good. Responsible. I think we have been. <laughs> we have been. So I'll cut to the chase. You are a powerful and compassionate, creative and loving spirit. I'll say that again. You are a compassionate and loving, powerful and creative spirit. The spiritual path is not becoming that. You are already that. As you become aware, through developing an awareness of your, a somatic awareness of your emotions, a cognitive awareness of love and fear, which means your thoughts, you don't become a more powerful creator, you become a more aware creator. Then put this in a different perspective. You are each moment creating powerfully. You cannot not do that. And you will continue to do that until your soul returns to non-physical reality. So as you become a spiritual person, you don't become a more powerful creator, you become a more aware creator. You use your creative capacity consciously and hopefully wisely. As you do that, your experiences begin to change. Because until you become aware, you are creating unconsciously. You become angry and you shout. You crave sex, you find a partner. You want to impress people, so you get a degree or another one. Or you build your body or you get dreadlocks that are just out of this world. Or you get a mountain bike that's the coolest ever. So you're creating all this time. And usually all this time you think you're invisible. You think you're unworthy. You think nobody notices. You think you have no impact, but you do. You're impacting others, you're impacting the universe, and you are creating your own experience. In the domain of the five senses, we call that karma. That doesn't change. Your creative capability and capacity doesn't increase, but you use it more consciously as you become more aware of the difference between love and fear. And as you begin to choose to create with love more and with fear less, your experiences begin to change. The parts of your personality that are frightened still come. They still hurt. They still have their thoughts, their judgments. But you recognize them. After a while, you recognize them. They come, but they don't control you any longer. And after a while, their control over you disappears. It evaporates. It disintegrates. That's creating authentic power. Every time you challenge a fear by choosing not to act on it consciously or cultivate a loving part of your personality consciously, you develop mastery in your life because now you can begin to choose. As someone put it, you create a space between the impulse and the action. And in that space, you can do something you didn't have the ability to do before, and that is choose. Choose consciously. That means instead of react, you can now respond. This makes all the difference in the world. It doesn't mean you'll respond wisely. It means now you've given yourself the opportunity to choose consciously. It's not as though you weren't choosing before. You were, but you weren't conscious of the choice. Are you all following me? So you were wielding your creative power unconsciously, which is to say irresponsibly. That's what's changing as your awareness expands, as you develop emotional awareness. And what you're becoming aware of is the intention with which you create, the intention with which you speak, the intention with which you act. The same act can have several intentions. You can write a check to a charity and the intention can be to get a tax write-off because it's, Janu it's, it's December. Or the intention can be that you want to have an image of yourself as a philanthropist. Or the intention could be you want others to look at you as a generous person. Or the intention could be you want to help people in the world who don't have good drinking water. The first of those intentions come from fear. The last one comes from love. No second agendas. Pure care. Pure concern. 
reverence for life. That's where you are now because you're either reading these books or you're here or you're considering these ideas. You can't unlearn what you learn. So the next time you make a choice unconsciously, which means you react, you don't think about it, don't berate yourself. Don't take a trip into guilt. As we talked earlier, that leads nowhere. That makes the tree grow crooked. Learn and do it differently next time. That's what our friend Maya would say. When you know better, you do better. Isn't there so much clarity and generosity in that observation? So apply that to yourself and do better.